Welcome back to your Java programming series. Wow, you guys have been on me about finishing this series. I could literally post on social media, guys, I have three days to live, and I swear you guys would say, that's nice and all, but are you gonna be finishing your Java series? Well, here you guys have it, the rest of the Java series, I'll be uploading it this week, well, throughout the next couple of weeks, because this is quite a lot more content to go, and you better be thanking our sponsor, because I have a commitment to, to fulfill with them. So, go check out our sponsor, and then let's dive back into Java programming. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So it has been some time since the previous Java video and we're kind of getting into a new section. So all what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to finish our discussion on loops real quick and then we'll be shifting our focus into a new part of Java. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start from scratch, create a Java project. If you already have the one from the previous videos, that's fine, don't worry about it. I'm just going to create a new one. I think the previous one I called it like hello or something, but this one I'm going to call it YouTube, um, like that. And then I'm just gonna click finish. This module thing, when it pops up, I just click don't create. Now over here in the package explorer, really tiny, go and right click on source and new class. Awesome, so here is where you're going to name your file that has the, the main method in it. I'm just gonna call it my sweet program. And then I'm going to click public static void main, so it's gonna put that main method in there, and then I'm going to click finish. Sweet, now I can zoom in a little bit and get rid of some of this other junk and we should be pretty good to go. So in the previous videos, we've talked about while loops and do while loops. These are the basic loops used to basically do something numerous times. Another popular loop that you need to know about is called the for loop. And I know what you're probably thinking, what's it for? Well, that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. Well, it does exactly the same thing as the while loop. It's just syntactically different. So it's kind of like, just a different way of writing the same thing. So let's do that. We're just gonna clear this out and we're going to write our first for loop. So the syntax is for, and then you put the parentheses and then you put the curly braces. And I'm also going to move this first curly brace to the same line. That's the convention I'm gonna be trying to follow in for the rest of this series. So we got the, the shell for the for loop. Obviously there's a bunch of red lines, so it's not happy. That's because we have to fill it out with some more information. So inside of here, we're going to put the three pieces of a loop. So that's the initialization, the condition, and the update. So the three pieces of the loop are nice and visible right here, one after the other, and they're separated by semicolons. So we start with the initialization. We can say int i, set it equal to zero. Then we can do a comparison, i is less than 10. And then lastly, we can do an update, i++. So this is a very basic loop that's going to run 10 times. So it's going to start with i being zero and it's gonna go all the way up until i is nine. Once i is 10, this no longer evaluates to true and the code block is not going to execute. So let's just give it a try. What we're gonna do is just output the value. So we can say sys out, hold control and press space. You guys have been asking a couple times how I do that, that's how I do it. And then we can just print the value of i. Executing this thing, check it out guys. You can see all the numbers down here, zero through nine. That's 10 iterations. So that's a basic for loop, but you can of course modify it. You can do a different condition in here. I always like to keep it less than, I think that's easier to read for me, but you can certainly do other stuff. So for example, you can use less than or equal to if you wanted, that would include 10. So saving this and running it, you can see down here we get the value 10. But I'm gonna keep it to less than, and that's just my convention. If I wanted to have 10 in there, I would just say less than 11, but however you guys want to do it. So I'll go back to 10 here, and we'll also show you guys a loop where you can count down. So we'll set i to nine, say as long as i is greater than or equal to zero, we're going to subtract i. 
running this, we get nine all the way down to zero. So that's how you can count down. You can do more complex stuff inside of the for loop, but this is the basics and this is what you should be familiar with. Now I is just a convention here. You can go ahead and name that variable whatever you want, but most people call it I. So that's the for loop. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be talking about nested stuff, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Be sure to check out that video. And if you are excited that I've released this video, just do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and you know maybe go share this video with one of your friends. Because as you guys are probably realizing, the more you learn about programming, the more empowered you become in your career, as well as in your person, because you learn all these new skills. And that's something we, we can't hold back from sharing with the rest of the world. So go share this video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.